And then a big hit up high by Troop, and then Hathaway goes after him, and here they go. DC and Forbert dancing around right on yeah. the, the center dot. Here they go. Gave each other a couple swipes with the gloves on, then decided let's do this for real. Guys pile up together. A couple of swats in the middle, as you mentioned, Sean. And right there you're fine. It's about in three seconds when somebody decides to go to the next level that the gloves come off. The fight is on. Krejci with Pasternak trying to slide ahead. Centering pass tipped right on goal. Beautiful feed by Krejci to Zaka, and it was stopped by Shesterkin. We saw last year of Igor Shesterkin. This is a really nice save as this puck's deflected. That's quick. Philip Hedl banked it ahead. Couldn't get it around forward. Now Bertuzzi. Nephew of the longtime NHL player Tom Bertuzzi. He centers one for Coyle. And he scores! Charlie Coyle with the first goal of the afternoon for Boston. Bertuzzi, his first game, jump on the board. The puck's dumped into the zone by Bertuzzi. Frederick to Bertuzzi behind the net, and then Coyle, who's the third man in good position, comes in to take this pass right on the tape. Bertuzzi dumps it in and then becomes the outlet behind the net. The Rangers don't react quick enough as both Hedl and Truba are looking behind the net. That means nobody's on coil coming into the slot area to take the Bertuzzi feed. Coyle's got his 12th and Bertuzzi's been a Bruin for less than a period and he's on the score sheet. Here come the Bruins, two on one for the moment, short-handed. Shot by Nosek, turned aside by Shesterkin. Rangers just two for the last 13 on the power play. Nosek down low again and he scores! A short-handed goal for the Boston Bruins who lead two to nothing. A two on one earlier that Nosek has turned aside. The Rangers turn the puck over on the breakout. Nosek hangs on to this as long as he can around the outstretched left leg of Igor Shesterkin, his fifth of the year. The Bruins, a first minute shorty, their fourth of the season. Well, he has decisions to make. Oh, does he ever? Yeah, Panarin and Kane are great on the wings, but Zibanejad had a great goal scorer from the flank as well. Truba, and that hit the post. I think that's in. Yeah, a couple of the Rangers thought it was in. Tarasenko still pointing at the goal, saying it's in. And now one of the linesmen is coming in to confer. Look at, look at the netting. The netting will flip up right there. Yep. It's in. It hits that back bar. And from the front, you can see the net kind of pop up. It's the Truba shot. And that's uh, Alexi Lafreniere right in front of Ulmark. It'll be his second power play goal of the... Crowd is waving no goal. I don't know what they saw. Review is determined that the puck did go into the net. Please reset the clock to 12.57. Dump and chase after it with Mikola. Centering pass to Broskin. A beauty by Shesterkin. Marchand, DeBrusque, a fantastic Shesterkin read and left pad save as the Bruins try to retake a two-goal edge and Shesterkin shuts the door. Schneider is the line. Goodrow, nice pass. Lafreniere robbed by Linus Olmark. His save of the afternoon. Of this feed, he gets outside of Connor Clifton and there's Olmark, who doesn't come way out at the top of the crease, he uses his size to keep positioning. Glove pad right on it as Lafreniere, that close to tying this game at two. The Rangers start to force some turnovers from the Bruins now. Back in 1974 for the Flyers, they won the Stanley Cup. Here's Orloff, lots of room, and he's denied by Shesterkin, who wasn't sure that he had it secured around his right leg on the scorching hot Dmitry Orlov. Orlov's going to come into the play late. 
He's got enough time to size up where he wants to shoot it. Shesterkin makes the save. Now Zibanejad's late in the play. He lost his stick as he was coming back by the Ranger bench. He had to stop and grab one. It was Jacob Truba's stick. They are 34-0-2. 37th time this year they've led after two. That's five more than any other team in the league. McDavid is so much better than everybody else. Not just the best player in the world, you know, incredibly far ahead of everybody else. And there are so many enormously talented players around the league. Marshan, pestered by Fox. Bergeron scores! Patrice Bergeron! Gives Boston a two-goal lead with 7.04 to go. The Bruins work the puck up the ice. Marchand will take it deep. He does this so well to protect the puck, to give himself an opportunity to make the play. Bergeron in position to accept the pass. And, and again, these two have played. I can't even imagine how many minutes they've been on the ice together in their career. Bergeron comes into the zone, stops. He knows the puck is going to come to him, and it's in the net. Orlov. It bounced past Krejci, and it's played out by Schneider, who again wants to get off after a long shift. Krejci trying to catch him. McAvoy down low, and another Boston goal. David Pasternak makes it 4-1. to one. Rangers will clear the puck. Watch this puck movement. Orlov Krejci. He's going to lay it off to McAvoy and slides it across to Pasternak. Bertuzzi's the only guy in the ice that doesn't touch the puck in the span of about 100 feet. Pasternak's on the tail end of this, and he hammers it past Shesterkin. No chance. And the Bruins have ground the Rangers down. And they just give him the Vesna now. <laughs> they're gonna make they're gonna make everybody play the rest of the year though. Yes, they will. Mikola in deep, minute and a half to go. And the Rangers get a goal thrown toward the cage from the wing by Lafreniere. Mikola makes a strong play and goes to the front of the net. Lafreniere shot. Oh, it kind of skipped. Out in front of Omar and beats him. We'll get maybe a better look at this here. Oh yeah, it skipped off the ice as Lafreniere's throwing this to the net. And it takes a, a left turn and beats Olmark over the glove. That'll be a pair. Almost uh, the full length of the ring. Panarin blasted one wide. Final seconds. And Boston has won 10 in a row.